Hi guys and girls, my name's A Gaming Tech. Welcome on into the channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at setting up trade rules. Uh, try and set it up so we can either buy or sell from our own stations and also possibly even restrict other factions from buying or selling as well. So we'll jump into that and have a little look. Okay, so in the map section, we want to click on player information. We'll come across to the left here, we we'll want to go to global orders. And then we're wanting to create a new trade rule. So let's click on that. Let's rename that and we'll do buy and sell from owned stations. So once we've named that, we want to set up the trade rule. So we we'll to click on station trades, station supply. Then we want to restrict all factions and it'll leave your faction name left. Now you can add or remove different factions if you want, but that, that can be done as a separate one. And then we want to save that trade rule. So that is pretty much that. Now we can also set another one. So let's create a new trade rule. And let's call that sell to friends. And Let's do station supply or well, station trades, not station supply. Uh, let's click on restrict all factions and then we want to add or remove factions. So there, obviously, for instance, we could Add the boron if I can find them. Uh, then possibly, obviously, we didn't want uh, the xenon or anything like that trading with us. I don't think they would, but you never know. Alliance of the Word, Argon Federation, and you can click it all like that. Pick all the ones you want to trade with, and you can set that and then save. And obviously you can come into these at any point and modify them, which is good as well. Okay, so now we've set up our first, first and second rules, we can then go into applying it to any stations that you've made. Now, we can do this one of two ways. We can go into the information section. So I've selected my solar power plant it's just a small plant just to start off with because I'm to be honest I'm still very early on in the game I just want to try and make some extra cash so what we can do is we can have a look in here we can change the station trades in this section here as uh, so you can use there's global settings but obviously we're not wanting to do that we want to do no restrictions station supply be honest that's not going to even affect us in the slightest because you're going to be supplying the stuff because uh, it is just a solar factory so what we can do is right click and go to logical overview and this brings up the actual factory section so you can see there we've got three energy cell uh, production facilities and basically we're making 31 and a half thousand per hour. So you can see there we've got 14,947 in stock. We've got a, a decent uh, storage, storage bin there. So 
it's no need for us to create a buy order because we're producing it ourselves that's fine uh, if we wanted to we could restrict the sale of stuff to our own stations so only our ships would uh, buy and sell but we're not going to do that because it, it doesn't really matter for the energy sales unless you were in a sector where there's other uh, factions that you don't want to buy your stuff from so just put that as no restriction and then people will buy and sell as they want so what we can do now is we can come out here let's go into another factory this one's still under construction And what we've got here, this is going to be Computronic Substrates. Uh, oh no, they are actually starting to... Starting to produce them, wow. I'm surprised at that. Uh, right, so, likes of this stuff. So, energy cells. See there, we've got loads of ships coming in to supply it with energy cells, because it needs a lot. Uh, in order to make that, okay, I've got four factories. One of them is up and running by the looks of it. But it's needing 24,000 energy cells. Now this station's only producing 10 and a half. I've only got one energy cell uh, production on it. So what we want to do is restrict that. Restrict that to our, our own stuff. So we want to buy and sell from own stations. Now we can tell them to go away. And then you see we've got our own traders there. Uh, let's see, automatically sell amount. We don't really want to sell any. Sorry, there. We've got that sell all but we'll just uh, leave that as that and that should uh, that should be good uh, hydrogen now we need a lot of hydrogen so we have got ships coming in so we'll leave that as is once you set up your own mining ships etc you can uh, restrict that as well but we need a lot of it at the moment because each each one of these is going to need 12,000 uh, hydrogen which is a heck of a lot uh, or same with or we've got to leave that as is so we're getting plenty coming in and same with silicon We'll leave that as is, so we've got plenty of that coming in. Now the Computronic uh, substrate, that is actually going to be worth quite a bit of money. 9,000, over 9,000 credits per unit, so this could be a good money maker, hopefully. Now, to get the Computronic Substrate uh, factory, I stole the blueprint uh, using the EMP launcher, which I've got another video on. So now we've set up those rules, we can also see the ships uh, going between each other now. Uh, so these, these ships have been buzzing between each other, selling the trades which is good so that uh, power supply plant is now supplying uh, that factory there which is pretty cool and if we go into it we can see what's going on now now it's been live for a little bit so you can see here there we've got another 9200 energy sales coming in at some point Hopefully that'll be fairly soon. Now you can also see here, 
if it's got a cross in it, it's telling us there's a restriction applied to this wear. So that's what oh, the orange know. cross means. And then obviously the red one's not enough uh, resources for production. So that that's something that needs to be worked on. And obviously I've got here trade restrictions apply to this wear. It's uh, set at the moment to sell to friends. But I'll let that build up a little bit before I open up the market. So hopefully that helps as well. And of course, the station budget. God, it's going to cost a lot to get up and running. But once it starts making its money, it should, uh, should start to pay for itself. I'm just going to make that 10 million just to get it. Just to get it up and running, give it a little bit of extra cash, and that'll hopefully bring in the ores and stuff like that that we're short of. See there, that's that's restricted. So let's just change that. I'll have to go in and check the, all the stations now. Let's do no restrictions. Because we want to buy and sell as much of that as possible. Same with that. Wait, okay, hold on. That's a... Uh, that's buy offer. That's uh, no restriction. Let's sort that out. And same with silicon. Make sure that that is no restriction as well. Obviously, we can change that in the station overview as well. So if we click on the station, go to information, you can see there. So that's got global settings. Let's do no restriction. Station supply. Let's do that no restrictions at the moment. Let's just make sure that that's filled and then we'll go back into the logical overview. Just make sure nothing's changed. Yep, buy and sell from friends. No restriction. So there, we've got some stuff coming in already. That's good. No restriction. That's good. Now, what I'll do is, we'll do that to buy and sell one stations, just to let that build up, and then later on, once that's uh, working a bit better, I'll come back to it and change that so it'll start selling. So hopefully that's helped you guys and girls, and if it has, Please do leave the a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. You can see there I've got two factories up and running now by the looks of it, or one's just about to get finished. So that could hopefully start printing money for me. But until next time, guys and girls, thanks for watching. Bye for now.